Minister of National Security Stuart Young making a case for the electronic monitoring system as outlined in the Administration of Justice Bill says it will have many advantages. Speaking in the Senate this morning, he said the system costs less to monitor a minor offender than to keep a prisoner behind bars. He added it is also beneficial for a minor offender who will not be recruited by hardened inmates. Offenders who've made an error, who've made a mistake in their life, who may have committed a more serious crime, through the use of these electronic monitoring bracelets, we can release them back into society rather than have them being trained by hardened criminals in the system, first offenders and others, can utilize this system and we allow them to reform their lives on the outside rather than incarcerating them in prison. And speaking of minors, three minors were among six persons arrested after police officers seized a firearm and a quantity of ammunition during an anti-crime exercise conducted in the Arima district on Monday. Officers were on mobile patrol along Mausica Lands, Arima, around 7.30 p.m. when they stopped and searched a vehicle with six occupants. The search resulted in officers finding a pistol loaded with five rounds of ammunition, one black imitation pistol, and two masks in the vehicle. Six male suspects, ages 16 to 20, from the Arima, La Hokita, and Malabar districts were held in connection with the fines. Investigations are ongoing. A 42-year-old man is expected to appear before a Port of Spain magistrate today, Tuesday, to answer to charges of two counts of cruelty to a child and one count of assault by beating. Officers of the Gender-Based Violence Unit and the Child Protection Unit responded to an incident involving a report of child abuse on Saturday. According to police reports, the suspect became violent during an argument and the victims contacted the police. The suspect was arrested and charged. A total of 58 persons have been charged in 2020 for crimes against children, contrary to the Children's Act 4601.